three. All right, Pidgeotto, you're mine. Oh god, he's angry at me already. I can't. Oh god, it was awful. Okay, and it's gonna freeze on me. This game is wonderful. Use a raspberry. Comment the f down. Try again. Curveball. Hit him on the head. Come on, Pidgeotto. My sound's off right now for clear clarity here. Stay in there. Stay in there. Stay. Oh my God. He does not want to. Let's try it one more time. He's attacking. He's attacking. Gotta wait this out. Curveball. Hit him in the wing. Come on. I may lose him. I don't know. Jesus. He's not gonna stay in there. One more time with the raspberry. I'm gonna catch this Poke Pokemon. Okay, this is the this is the hype, everybody. This is what everybody is doing all day long for hours at a time. On corners, on street corners, no everywhere, everywhere. I mean, it is it is crazy. Oh, wait. Oh god, it's not loading. It froze. Really? Really? And that's it. That's it, everybody. That's Pokemon Go. It is an extremely buggy uh, mobile addiction that has gotten everybody crazy. Uh, how you doing? If you don't know me, my name is Sean. I've been littered all over the uh, local news in the last couple of days. It's been crazy. Uh, and uh, I just came uh, back uh, from my gym doing a phone interview with uh, a Kelly Carrera uh, from Toronto's... Uh, Toronto's uh, uh, talk radio AM 640 uh, and that was a blast. She was asking me about the game. She was asking me how it's helped my business um, and uh, if you can see right here I was featured in the New York Post. I'm going to lift this up here right here. There it is. There's my, there's my lovely face. Featured in the New York Post for playing this game um, and that it's a little bit of an understatement but uh, what I did was and here this up. That's not the New York Post. Here it is. There's the New York Post. There I am again. Uh, and what I did was play this game and reap the rewards really. Now I'm gonna to try to get the game to function and I'll show you exactly what I did because everybody's been asking me, I've been getting contacted by local businesses, exactly what I did to generate more business and it's been creating a buzz all over local news broadcasts. Uh, our establishment, Linicio Pizza Bar, I'm the manager of, uh, it, uh, increased our business 75% and all because of Pokemon Go. Uh, now here I am, I have the game open right now. I'm home. Uh, so I'm not going to tell you exactly where I am, but if you can see, uh, I'm a little bit in a barren area. Now there's some icons hanging around the game, uh, like this one. This is a gym right there, and I can click on that and you can see what that is. Now, uh, the gyms are a little different. My pizzeria is not a gym. However, what gyms do is create just as big of a buzz. Now, what I, my pizzeria is, is a, uh, poke stop, which is similar to this. Now I'm actually too far away from it right now to interact with it. However, my pizzeria, like this bank, is predefined as a poke stop, a point of interest within the game. Now, what I did was, I, I, there's this little box here, and you can click it, and it gives you the option to drop an item there called a lure module. Now, this lure module can be obtained free in the game if you play it, and it's not guaranteed to be there often. It's a little, it's sparse. It's a, it's a rare drop. As, you would, as they would say. And what I did was I was anxious and I bought in, with in-game currency, and I'll bring that up exactly what I did. I went to, to the menu, went to the in-game current, uh, to, to the in-game shop, and if it loads. Uh, now see here I have 5,650 5, gold. Now that's not something that is easily obtained within the game, so when I went all the way down here, if you scroll down, they give you real money options where you can pop, buy in-game currency. Now, what I did at the time was spend about $10 and bought uh, $10 worth of coins. You can see about 1,200 coins. And I went over here and uh, about uh, 1,200 coins gets me roughly eight lures. Now, by definition, what this says here is that the lore attracts Pokemon to the Poke Stop for 30 minutes. And what I did was every 30 minutes drop a lore and played the game. And eventually what happened is on in Long Island City, on Vernon Boulevard, uh, it generated crowds of people gathered, already gathered together, and gathering in front of my store because of this lore drop. Now, if I can find something in the area, you might be able to see exactly what this looks like. Uh, it's very, it's very far away, actually. Uh, oh, here we go. There's a Pokestop over here, and you can see little pink petals. That tells players nearby, like I'm a block away, I can see it's in my distance, that tells a player nearby that there's more of a chance at that location to obtain Pokemon. Now, let's, uh, and I'll be able to click on it from far away and find out what that place is, 
This looks like the mosaic of the Forest Hills Gardens. Um, now, interestingly enough, it features a lot more artwork within the stock footage than the actual storefronts. However, not limited to. This one particularly is a piece of art, and I, I live nearby, so I know the establishment, so I know that's actually the TD Bank right there. Now, I'm sure right now there is a crowd of people standing in front of that TD Bank trying to catch more Pokemon. I myself would be there, but I have to take a break. Now, uh, it's fairly simple, and it's not a guarantee, but what is a fact is that all hours of the day, and I can confirm this, uh, at all hours of the day, morning till we into the evening, until the rest of the neighborhood is asleep, I've had, I've had, I've, I've run into groups of people, 10, 15, 20 people at 3 in the morning, playing this game. Uh, now, if you're an establishment like a bar that happens to already be a Poke Stop, and you'd find that out by going on the game and, and playing the game yourself. Now, if you are a Poke Stop, someone at your establishment, you, the, the owner, the manager, anybody for anybody at all, even players, can just walk by and drop lore. But to rely on strangers to come by and drop a lore and hang there is, is, is not a guarantee. So if somebody within the establishment can you know, actively drop these lures or collective, if the entire, everybody trips in and just drops a lure, you can have a lure up for as long as your business is operation, operational. And to, to our, uh, to our um, own evidence, it's generated a, a crazy amount of business in the last couple of weeks. And our, our whole neighborhood is more livelier than usual. I can't say this, this trend is going to last for a long time, but then again, this is Pokemon, and it just made a huge swing. From what I understand, uh, the, the, the Nintendo and this company has generated about $14, I think the other day is the number I checked, $14 million uh, from this game alone. And, uh, well, I can't, you know, I can't, for what I can say for, for our experience is that uh, we, we certainly welcome it with open eyes. I would, I would tell you that um, other businesses are choosing a different approach and saying, uh, you know, uh, Pokemon are for customers only. And I, as, as working in the industry for 10 years, I would say that that's a super aggressive approach. And with a trend such as this, where it's encouraging people to walk around in, in small groups or even parades of people already having a lot of fun, if your establishment can handle uh, a crowd of people, welcome it. Welcome it with open arms. Let them know that they can collect Pokemon at your establishment. Incentivize it. Uh, people are throwing up bar crawls. If your community gets together and you, there's a bunch of Pokestops in your area, you know, get together, create these events, and let me tell you, there's just no way you won't uh, uh, get more business out of it. Little, even a little business increase when you're not expecting it is a great business increase in this industry. In New York City, restaurants are have, struggling every day throughout the week and, and relying on our, uh, the best of the weekend sales you can get. And whenever you get a, a weekend sale in the middle of the week, you just can't go wrong. You have to ride that wave. Now, I've been asked again, some of you have asked me, how do I become a Poke Stop? Don't know the first thing about the Pokemon. So it, it, previously, you couldn't actually request to be a Poke Stop. Again, we weren't contacted specifically our business. Uh, I just happened to notice that it was there. Uh, but they Pokemon uh, Ni Niatic, I think the company is called. Uh, they recently uh, allowed you to uh, submit a request. Um, if you can see right here, there's a request form. Uh, the hyperlink's up at top. Let's see if I can scoom in on that a little bit. You might not be able to see it. I'll put the link in the description. Uh, you can submit a request, and uh, what this does is you, you ask why you're requesting an establishment. It seems like um, there are locations out there that are spotty. Not every establishment on a pretty popular strip is going to have a poke stop, but you can request for one. Um, if you have the option, you can have the option of requesting a gym or a poke stop. They'll ask you for a little information, and it's a crapshoot. But that's a, the first step in the right direction. If you're a bigger business, I, I heard they're opening their, doors for part, uh, opening their doors for partnerships, and McDonald's apparently is already on board. Nothing is completely confirmed, but there's a lot of reason to believe that a sponsorship of McDonald's is bound to happen. Uh, for smaller businesses, though, uh, take to creating signs and uh, street lures to uh, get people closer to your establishment. Uh, or pull them indoors when uh, they've already been lured by the Pokemon app. Uh, it's a fantastic thing. Uh, I don't think this has a, a negative impact on small businesses. Um, I would say you will receive maybe a broader uh, customer demographic, uh, younger kids, but uh, younger kids will come out of the woodworks. 
uh, and may not have money. And if, if, you know, you may have to regulate it. You want people with spending money to come into your establishment and spend that money. But you know what? Your establishment with a heck of a lot of people in it versus no people at all still looks good to outside customers. So good luck, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, you can reach me. Uh, I'll be posting this video uh, in numerous uh, avenues. Uh, you can reach me on Facebook. You can reach me on Twitter. You can reach me on YouTube. Uh, you can reach me out on my email uh, at uh, uh, Z-E-R-O-M-O-N-K-3-Y at gmail.com. Uh, most of my handles are Zero Saru. Uh, on YouTube, on Twitter, and uh, even on Facebook, you can search uh, Zero Sorrow. Uh, and yeah, uh, if you're in New York City, come down to Luzio Pizza Bar. It's good pizza.